What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another freaking video. Today we got my boots. Austina. Austina in the building. But y'all, as y'all see, this is episode number three of Black Bastard TV. Today's discussion will be about 40 year old dummies. Now, Miss Altina here is 40 plus. 40 plus, <laughs> and we'll keep it that way. But this is not about her, this is about 40 year old dummies. So, Let's hop right into the video, y'all. As y'all can see, we're outside today, so you may hear insects in the back. It may be a little slurpy in the back, but we're going to keep this video going. So let's go ahead and hop right in. So anywho, when I mention 40-year-old dummies, I'm speaking of, like, you know, people who are older than me. I'm 22. And still either are mixed up in drama, mixed up in childlike things, still don't have their head on straight, still getting in, into it with people and things and fighting or even like relationship problems. Basically, people who are older than me and still are kind of dumb, don't have it figured out, ignorant in a way. You're so, still young, so like immature? Yeah, immature, immature in a way, still don't know, you know, what they, you know, are trying to pursue or got going on. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel about that? Like, knowing your peers are of your age and, you know, you have your life, you know, fig pretty figured out, you know, things are pretty good, but the people around you or people you've seen or worked with, met, you know, have you seen any 40-year-olds dummies or coming across? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would say, like, I'm far from perfect, don't get me wrong, and... It's not really about trying to judge anyone, but at the end of the day, like, you know, you have the males that are 40 and still out here trying to be 20, you know, in the streets. Uh, you have the women that, you know, are 40 and they're trying to be 22. And uh, it's just a lot, you know, like, you know, sagging with the men. You know, you're 40, like, put a belt on, put your pants up, and right. give examples, stuff like that. Um, Drama, relationships, uh, baby mama, baby daddy drama, all types of stuff. But like most women that are in their 40s, it's like they still walk around here letting guys treat them like they're in their 20s. Mm -hmm. And what I say about it, it's like they keep telling lies and let them, you know, like all the whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. They can just tell them whatever and it's just like, oh, okay. Well, as but far I mean, as like, not to chime in, but okay. you know, as far as like, uh, like 40 year olds tell them whatever. I've noticed too with the guys that are of my age, they listen to like a bigger or like a, um, what they call them, big dog, OG. an OG. You know, they listen to them type of dudes who are 40 plus um, as far as like street wise, I feel like. They don't listen to them as far as staying on the right track, but as far as like street wise, I know they go to them to learn more, have more advice, or get a better perspective, but I see most of the 40-year-old dummies leading the people my age in the wrong path. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because they don't really have, you know, I don't know, all the resources that they needed and to the people they're giving guidance to, or, you know, I don't really know what's going on with that, but when I see people of that age acting as if they're still my age or trying to guide the people that are my age, um, sometimes it's in the wrong way. But you can tell, like, how your parents might move from one year and you're like, oh, damn, Tony, oh, then you can do that. Or Tony, oh, then you can do that. And little do you know, he's listening to a 40 year old dummy, you know, like a decent, who don't really have everything in mind, you know. Um, so, say you had. Well, I mean, for an example, you have young men that have fathers that are in their 40s, and they may be in their 20s, but the thing is, is that their fathers. I think they may look up to that may be in the forties. They have one foot in the positive and one foot still in the negative. So it's like how can you guide someone, you know, I would just say for example, like my own son, you know, that has a father that's in his forties that, you know, at the end of the day is positive with whatever legitimate stuff he has going on, but then at the same time you still have street in you. So if you're not gonna completely leave that type of stuff alone completely, how are you supposed to guide? You know, uh, show any type of, um, you know, what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, can't think of the word I'm looking for. Uh, Representation, um, yeah. influence. Yeah, influence, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's, 
it's crazy out here. So with that being said, I mean, some young men rebel and be like, you know, I'm not going to listen to that. But I mean, like I said, you still have 40 year olds still trying to be 20 out here. And, you know, just with all everything that's going on and stuff, I mean, there's just a lot of, you know, learning to do. But sometimes, too, you know, when you say OGs, there are OGs that, like, how things may have been in the past, how things ran smooth, this is a different time. So right. they they out here, you know, killing and shooting, and it, it just be ridiculous. So it, it don't even be where they can get any guidance, you know, from it. It's just that, you know, it's reckless. Like, nobody's thinking it's, you know, can't wear the right color or, you know, somebody slept with somebody different. Yeah. And not only just with gang um, relations, activities, I'm saying as far as too, like, their own parents are still trying to be young, they're still playing, yeah, that's what I was thinking. still playing the role of um, people who are young or of my age, so they got a whole mom who's supposed to guide them, and the whole time their mom's acting like me, you know, or the mom's acting like the girlfriend, or the mom is filling in place of um, their child or some whatnot, and no offense, you know, to the 40 year old people. I just feel as if, um, you know, some of them are still trying to relive their 20s or re relive their life in ways that they weren't able to. And some are trying to live through their kids, and it, it's just not going to work. Because, like you said, it's a different era now. It's a different generation. You're not going to get the same um, answers that you would need or the same um, advice, you know. Because everybody goes about things differently, older or not. Right. I mean, there's still women like, I mean, I'm not knocking no one that is you know, on the level of, you know, having a relationship as far as with your daughters, hanging out with them, clubbing and all that. But there are some boundaries, you know what I'm saying, you have to take with, you know, wanting to do that. And then also, like, if you don't show yourself as a woman in the eyes of your daughter or even your son, you know, it's like, what do they take from that? So at the end of the day, I don't have to sleep with a thousand and one guys, have a thousand and one guys in my home, around my kids and all that. At the end of the day, they're self-love. I mean, nowadays, I mean, like I said, like me being 40 plus, you know, to try to find that someone that's 40 plus and mature is a whole different level. So I don't want to be involved with someone that, okay, you know, I'm not knocking a street guy, but you know, at the end of the day, that's not what I want in my life. So you know, uh, uh, red flags are always there. So when conversation starts, you kind of know within like what, the first three months or so, like, how is this person going to be? I mean, people get with them, the red flags been there. But I mean, like they say, you know, people only do to you what you allow. So, I mean, if you accept things at the beginning, you know, and we as women, like, we do get mad. But sometimes, I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, agree with the men. But I mean, if you accept a lot of stuff at the beginning and you knew what it was, like, you can only blame yourself at the end of the day of like how, you know, things are going to be because the, the flags is there, you know. And then the thing is, a man's only going to change, like, if he really is about you and you're worth him changing, he's going to change for you. And, like, we can't change them. And I, I found that out myself and everything. It don't matter if you're a saint, you know, you can be in the house and, you know, slept with many men, you know, you can be that cook or provide or whatever, but... I mean, if he feels that you're not it, you're not it, you know. So but, all in all, 40-year-olds, I mean, 40-year-old dummies in a sense, are still in that mix of confusion as well, as you're saying, as far as relationships and growing up and how they act, if they're going to be meeting the level of where they're supposed to be. Right. I think that's why some are attracted to the people my age as well, too, because control, in that way, right. control right. or guidance, they can tell them things that they may not think that they already know. As far as, too, like, in my job, there's people older than me there. I'm probably one of, out of two, the youngest people at my job. And noticing there, I see that, well, I do work with a lot of different cultural type of people, so they don't know as much coming from the, where they come from. But as far as respect, too, they do kind of expect you to be more um, respectful and um, submissive to them, considering that they're older, I guess. But... Like I said, not these are forty year old dummies at the least, you know. Not many know as much as, you know, the regular child. So I do try to treat people of age that's older than me the same, but at the same time, like they used to say, 
I'm not grown, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what y'all know. I'm not trying to be grown, but at the same time, some people of my age in the 20s do know and comprehend more things than people in their 40s. Because if that wasn't the case, they still still wouldn't be doing things that 20-year-olds and 18-year-olds are doing now. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as trying to keep a job or as far as acting how they do in relationships, as far as even having a car. As far as even saving your money instead of asking from somebody, you know, as if you were a child or, you know, would need that much support. But as a 40-year-old and up, you know, 40-plus, you would think everything would be like together, mm -hmm. you know. So that's those people who even dress young and, you know, try to still keep up with the younger generation, but in a way you know that you're past due your era, you know. Yes. You're just not <laughs> living up to par of your age and what everything's supposed to be already figured out. Yeah. I just feel the focus should be about family at that point and you know, grow up you just can't just keep living that, you know. I mean, there are men right now, even OGs that are like sixty five and like it's like you trying to be what, forty but not forty, you're still trying to be like twenty something, still have that play of mentality. Still selling drugs and things, yeah. don't have a full time job. Right. Still yeah. trying to maintain the block. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like like give that up. It's yeah. over. Like you played out, just move on. But you know, I'm by far like, like I said, perfect. I mean, at 40 plus, I'm still not as knowledgeable about a lot of things. So you know, I have talked to older women and peers. Like my mom is deceased now, but you know, from just how things were and how she spit the game, how things went back in the day, like you know, and then you know, things were different. You know, what I'm saying back then, and everyone did treat everyone as family. But now it's like not like that. But you know, I would love to take any advice or, you know, listen to inspirational videos and such as I do already on YouTube as well, you know, just to, um, you know, get myself, you know, you know, more knowledgeable and hit me up on like, okay, but then, you know, I was blinded by that. I do see that. I, I witnessed that. Or I live that, you know. So even though I tell my children, you know, a lot of time I'm like, this is life. You know, that was my model all the time. Like, you think you know, you don't know, you know, and still. I'm living that and, and still figuring out stuff and things keep happening as 40 plus and but I just know that like a lot of day, things now I'm not tolerating like red flags is there you know it's like oh give this person a chance you know if this if this guy can't live up to the last guy's expectations but I'm saying if you can't come with more than what I already had before and I'm not saying financially because I'm a whole my own but um I mean, just as far as being a man and like treat me like a lady, how I should be, you know, all of that, um, you know, I know that you mess with this, this woman or this one and this, and, you know, if you accept that, you know, at 40 plus, like, it's just a headache for yourself. You know? There's like friendships as well. Mm -hmm. Like, um, for instance, you know, there is 40 year old dummies that who still play the side piece era. Now, by that time, you should be getting wiped up. So even if you feel me, you know, like you had a friend or people around you that you know, like you should lead in a better situation or they should lead themselves. How do you come about that? Seeing how old classmates have been or people around you. How do you, like, what do you think? Well, you what can only age, tell them so much. Right. Like, what age should you have your life? <coughs> I feel like at 35, by 35, you should yeah. establish them. I mean. I'm not knocking someone that, like, especially a man that I feel like you shouldn't still be catching the tar. Not that you have to have a hell of a, a vehicle, but, I mean, some vehicle. I shouldn't have to be that woman like, hey, you, we want to go on a date. And I shouldn't have to keep picking you up. Right. Like, you know, I, it's just I feel like it's a time to where, you know, I mean, I'd accept a McDonald's working guy, I guess I would say, but at the end of the day, like, what do you plan with that? Are you going to stay as, like, a cashier? Are you right. moving up to management? Because at the end of the day, it is a little thing. Yeah. You even know. not even having a driver's license. You riding around yeah, for like, whatever yeah. permit in your 40s. Or yeah, something. like, so why, why are it's you having like, your life, you know? The expectations is, is there, I would say. Like, you are expected to. You know, it is the little things. Have yeah. the car. Have the appropriate license. Don't go in the store knowing, you know, you only got $2. You know, right. you don't have a debit card. You still using, you know, what are they using? If they if you um, don't have a car. Well, chime and, you know, um, reloadable debit cards. Yeah. Guess, so you know, some people don't you know, have a bank. They it, don't even yeah. have a bank, you know. Right. So and how are you supposed to ever build credit if you can't establish yourself? To That's what I'm saying. It all, all, it all connects. Because right. if I am combining with you or compromising or sacrificing anything, you know, at your age, you know. Yeah. Right.
yeah, it just still feels like, you know, you work all these years and there's a lot of people that do that. Like, I mean, you work and you be like, hey, you know, this person's been at their job for 25, 30 years back to retire. I mean, it's like, well, what do you have to show? I mean, yeah. I mean, you're working for, for what? Like, so when you retire, I mean, you can vacation, but do you not have a home now? Yeah. You know, there's some people that choose to, to get $30,000, $60,000 cars, vehicles and stuff. Work within a home, you know what I'm saying? Something for your kids or whatever. But right. at the end of the day, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, like I said, I'm by far perfect, you know, right. and a person to judge me how they want to to say, you know, you haven't been with uh, many partners, thousand guys, you know, and that, that don't prove nothing. I mean, my thing is if you've been that person, male or female, mm-hmm. you've been with a thousand and one people, it's like, have what have you learned with these relationships that? You know, hey, something has to change about either yourself or the choices you're making about choosing people or, you know, how how's your future going to be? Because you keep, like, allowing people to get with them and then you're getting held back. Right. You're holding yourself back. So I feel like at 40, you know, you should be looking for, like, okay, is this a career? Or, you know, if you were doing things that, you know, were loud and ambitious, it's like, okay, well, it's time to settle down, like, that mother or that father has to come out and responsibility. Yeah, you know, responsibility. Like, yeah. And priorities. Like, what are your priorities, you know? Now, I noticed a year or two ago, um, I had a friend who her mom would treat her as if it was her. So the, her mom was living through her as if, you know, she had a child. So her mom had had a child, you know, probably 18, 17, going to college. So when it came that time of us to be 18, 17, but we were probably like 19, 20, her mom would still treat her as if, you know, you need to get this together, you need to do this, you need to do this. Because when her mom was her age, you know, she had had a child. So, of course, everything got mixed up. She had to grow up early. She had a lot of more responsibilities. You had to be mature now. You got stuff to worry about. But she was treating her child as if she had a child. And that friend that I had, she didn't have no kids. She didn't have no baby. But her mom was treating her as if she was trying to relive her life through her and make her do certain things in which that friend ended up having a kid like a couple years later anyway. But I'm saying at that time, her mom being 40-something, her being 19, 18, 20, it was as if, you know, she was trying to make her go a certain route that she didn't go. And it's like with her life already being planned out or with her life already being settled and done, your kids is grown, you've been at this job 20 plus years, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's like you can't really change what's already destined or what's already going on. Right. But you can look, let me, but you can look at it as a positive thing because, I mean, no one's promised tomorrow, Mm -hmm. not even today. So, you know, like I try to instill in my kids, like, you know, listen, listen, like do this, do this, because when I'm not going to be here, like, if you don't have that other person that gives a damn about you, you're you're going to be lost at her. Right. So I just take it that the mother having her as a young age and has she had, she was preparing her so they're like, hey, if I'm not her, you, she's going to be ready. So you can look at that as a positive thing, to be honest. Like, you know, it may have seemed like to the, the friend that, you know, my mom's doing this and, you know, I'm not even having sex. Maybe she wasn't even at the time, but she was preparing her, like, it, the, the what ifs. I mean, and that's a lot of times that people don't get to hear is the what ifs. And but not necessarily was she preparing her to have a kid. Well, not a wife. kid, but I'm saying if she was to, she mm-hmm. would be ready. So those responsibilities, they were instilled. So like now, kids don't do chores or wash dishes or feel like, you know, so back in the day when those things were, you know, enforced, you know, and made it responsible, that's why, you know, we have the kids that have manners or they are respectful, you know, and they're willing to, you know, pack the groceries in mm-hmm. or they see an elderly woman help with the groceries or elderly man, however, they're, you know, but so she probably was trying to instill that in her, really, not really, you know, but because this is a new day and era, yeah. girls are having sex early and these girls are getting manipulated by the men, the guys, and to go off, you know, they had a sex, so she was, you know, trying to let her see, like, these are the responsibilities that are going to be set forth, or these are the consequences that's going to happen, because I had to deal with that, so. But like, I don't uh, think, I think it was necessarily more like some unnecessary things she would make her move in a way, is just like, you know, I guess, for example, I don't know, don't leave the house at this certain time, maybe, or don't do this, do that, but the girl had already been, you know, at, mm-hmm. 
but I just feel like um, it's just about protection. It's yeah. a whole different. I mean, you can leave the house and it could be the last, you know. But right, I don't know. And like they say, most crime happens between the hours like the one and three or the two and four. I mean, you notice like you know shootings, killings, robbery. Right. You know, people are out. And, and most of the people who have been be passing like lately, lately are, have been thirty and up. I feel like. yeah. Younger too, but lately it's been like you know the club, the park, all the big gatherings. Yeah, but I mean, it, it be the young folk that, you know, right? I don't, I don't know. It's just I don't know, but I just still feel like, like you said, there's forty year old dummies, whether that's relationships or whatever. It's just like it's a time to be role models. That yeah, role models. Yeah, role models. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of like you know, like there's a lot of guys here lately now. And even females, I would say, as well, that are at the point of they're not getting jobs until forty. Like there's a like like they said, hey, there's a must have to have a job or something. I mean, you know, and there are the older people that the forty year old that were dummies and mm -hmm. may still be a little bit that, you know, are starting to want to work, you know. But a lot of them, you know, base it off like, okay, hey, you know, they see how it works with getting tax money and stuff like that. I'm like you should work to be want to be productive and want to live and want to have something to be successful. Not right. not to work for something you get once a year and you work long enough to get a lump sum of money and then you you, you blow it, spend it. You and know, half the resources you, you know you receive when you are older, people don't take um full like advantage of. Yeah, yeah, okay. They really take advantage of it towards someone else, a younger person. Like, I'm gonna use their name on this. Or, I'm gonna oh, yeah. use their money for this. But you're a forty year old dummy, you shouldn't need really necessarily help with this. Right. Or help with that, or help with that, especially from someone younger than you. Right. Uh, with, you know, right. Like especially if you're supposed to be the one to help the guy than me, you know. Right. Now you wanna take credibility for like whether it's like you said, using my name or something. Mm -hmm. Even the um, you know, side pieces. <laughs> we ain't in good yet. <laughs> You know, I don't, there's been a lot of, you know, 40-year-old, you know, sad pieces who's arguing with a 20-year-old. They both on the same dude, but they like, oh, she's mad because I'm younger than her and I didn't grab the dude. You know, there's 40-year-olds competing with 20-year-olds, 18-year-olds, 15-year-olds, you know? But um, what it is is that he see, like, okay, this part about her, I like or I can control this or she gives me this. And then on this end, she does this for me and this and this and that when you know you need to find just one complete whole woman mm -hmm. so you know as far as the sad pieces you know have like but, but don't, don't get it twisted right there are a lot of even men men and female that don't tell whoever they're talking to that they are with somebody yeah so that is dangerous you know what I'm saying? and that's so, the point of maturity too like i said yeah. every it's like i don't want to say it's every man or anything but peers my age have done the same and people who are older have done the same and as a disclaimer, y'all, I know we are all over this place and there is no judgment here. This is strictly opinions. We are, uh, what are we? We are on to our opinion. Yeah. You know, we are, you know, we can state our opinion. You can state yours. It is strictly that or strictly what we've seen, been around, or even experienced. Mm -hmm. So it's really just a discussion mm -hmm. on the topic and how, you know, it makes the world go round. You know, yeah. all these topics make the world go around. Like I said again, far from perfect. Yeah. Far you know, from just perfect. speaking on, you know, what I've seen, what I've been through, you know, I mean there's way more detail, but you know, we're not getting into that. It's just the basic of right. like, you know, and you know, I please like I would enjoy seeing comments, you know. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully no one's negative. Like I said, like we both said like this is just opinionated, our own discussion right. and and if it's this video is everywhere, I'm sorry about that. It was just a lot to hit on, but not to get too deep on. But you all get the just, though, you know. I'm sure we hit every point that made sense, you know. It is reality. I like, I'm all about the truth, the real, and figuring out things. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I have one more thing. Like, not necessarily to consider this as 40-year-old dummies. It's just that, like, you know, just immaturity love this yeah. 40 year old immature like just you know grow up you know like instead of being a, a grown girl be a grown woman yeah instead of a grown boy be a grown man and instead of worrying about yourself aging or being old 
just be the example. Yeah, live life. Yeah, because live you life. owe that to the your children. Like they have to get your age one day. Like you can't, you know, you can't just stop that. Like right. it, and it, it feels good to go over there. Like you prosper, you learn things. I mean, don't think about the worst, you know, but you know, seeing grandchildren, your children grow up, you know, some people don't even get a chance to even live to see that. So right. just be just the be, best you yeah, can be. Be the best you can be. Yeah, and even better than that after that. Because even at 40, you can still find a new hobby, a new career path. Yes. And don't just stop there. Right. But I've just noticed around that age, people do start to, you know, go dumb a little bit. You know, <laughs> so I, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. There will be more episodes to come. Thank you all, Tina, for Thank coming into this um, episode. We love having you here discussing this. And I'm glad you were able to take in and take it out for our audience as well. Um, in this heat. Right. In this heat with these <laughs> Not too bad. It's a little shade, right. <laughs> but make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Like I said, we do have more coming in tune. I hope that y'all um, grabbed a lot from this video, took a lot, like I said. And like she said, comment any experience you've had. Comment if you relate. Comment if, you know, you do want to do something different. What tips, you know, we could have giving you, you know, anything you would like to say? No, just like I said, I'm waiting for the comments and little feedback and, you know, let's all grow up. Right, and I'm here, y'all teaching me too. Like I said, I'm only 22, y'all. I'm y still learning. So. Right, she's still learning as well. You ain't never too young or too old mm -hmm. to learn something new. So, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and we will be back for more. We are out. Bye. Yes!